Hi, my name is Pop. I'm making a video that shows how you can swap some keys around on your keyboard in Ubuntu Linux. I have a prior video that shows how you can swap around keys uh, from parentheses to 9 and parentheses to 0. And those are keys in a shifted state. And I'm going to show in this video how to reassign your left trackpad or mouse button to any other key on your keyboard. The prior video showed up here the parentheses key and 9. I swapped them around and so that you did not have to use the shifted state in order to get the parentheses. And then temp this is all temporary, uh, not permanent. And uh, in that video, I want to be very clear, I reassign keys within a key. The 9 and the open parentheses is one key. And I showed how to swap them around from the regular state to the shifted state. You can, of course, more easily reassign keys like, say, the U key and uh, swap it around with, say, the N key. That is not from the shifted state to the regular state. That is a rather straightforward keyboard substitution. This time it's going to be trackpad left button and any key up here. Now notice on the trackpad and mouse they refer to those things as buttons. They're not keys. And they're handled differently. There is a fast and dirty way to do this. And you may want to do it because the darn buttons are very noisy and annoying. They will drive someone else in the room completely nuts. The way you do it's pretty easy. It's a two-step process. You go up here to the top right and go to System Settings. And after you get System Settings up, you go to Assistive Technologies and then you go to keyboard accessibility that's the top one and then you go to mouse keys and then you just put a click right here that says pointer can be used can be controlled using the keypad and when I'm using my arrow key now I can move the pointer around and I am using the 10 key pointer. I'm going 4, I'm going 6, I'm going 2, I'm going 8. And when you hit the one in the center, 5, you are getting a left mouse click. So, from now on, anytime you want to click the mouse, all you got to do is hit the 5 in the center of the 10 key. I told you this was a two-step process. Now, what you've got to do is swap around that 5 key and any other key that you want to use in place of it. And I showed this in the prior video how to swap keys around, but I'm going to do it again. First thing we're going to do is open up a terminal. And I'm going to type in xmodmap. And xmodmap help shows what to do. And we're going to get pke print key map table as expressions. So I up arrow, get rid of help, leave one dash, put in PKE, and now we've got the list of 256 keys in their normal state, shifted state, so-called third level, and so on. I want to put this into a word processor 
uh, I can up arrow and goof around with it like this but it's easier if you put it in a word processor so I'm going to go edit select all edit copy and then I'm going to open up a word processor a text editor and then I'm going to control V paste and I really have the same same thing. Now I have to find the two different fives, the one that's on the 10 key and the one that's uh, across the top. I'm going to reassign the 10 key 5 to the 5 that goes across the top and I've got to find it. And it's key code 14. So I'm going to copy key code 14 and I'm going to paste it into another word processor and then I'm going to find the key code for the 5 inside of the 10 key and there it is they call these by a funny name they call them KP underline begin and here are the numbers 1 through 9 and 0 this is key code 84. Well, let me get 84 copied. Uh, I held down shift and down arrow and that highlighted everything. And now I'm going to go edit, copy, and I want to open up another word processor right here to the right. New and I'm going to go edit paste that's one line now let's go back that was 84 that's the 10 key 5 I want to go back up to the top and I think it was 14 if I remember uh, I held down the shift key down arrow and that highlights it edit control C copy go over to the new word processor edit control V as in Victor for paste now I have got both of these I have to type in X mod map and don't forget dash E dash E that executes it and don't forget to put everything in parentheses now that was the first line X mod map dash E parentheses and parentheses the way it is right now, if I were to run this as a program, would not do anything. It just is telling the keyboard to do exactly what it already has. In other words, it's saying that key code 84 is the definition of the present key code of 84. Well, I'm just going to swap these numbers around. Uh, I'm going to call 8414 and 1484. Now I have to save it as a file name and what shall I save it as? What did I do here? I have to save it file save and I want to save it uh, how about onto the desktop or just I'm just going to leave it exactly where it is and I'm going to call it 5 to 5 oh does that make sense 5 to 5 and save now this is in my regular user folder which in my case is pop save 
I'm just going to close out all of my documents. Close without saving. Now I've got to go find 5 to 5. It should be at the bottom because they have got all of the uh, folders first and let's see 5 to 5 open it up and that's it all right I have to do something to it to make it executable and I'm gonna go to properties I'm going to go to permissions and I'm going to go to allow executing file as program close now when I click on that it asks me do you want to open it up as a word processor file or do you want to run it I want to run it okay from now on when I hit the 5 key that's across the top that's a left mouse click what I did is I I swapped this 5 right here with this 5 right here and you'll have to take my word for it there's no way for me to demonstrate that this is a left mouse click you can do this yourself you may ask yourself well why in the heck would I even want to bother changing 5 to 5 I've already got a key well the reason is is most people use the mouse or trackpad with their right hand if they're right-handed and in order to do the left mouse click you'd have to reach over here with your left hand and that's kind of awkward so what I did is you can use the trackpad down here somewhere with your right hand and then just right above it you'll tap that five now I just use that as an example you can of course use what Z or you could use this tilde something that would be handy for you when you turn your computer off this program will not be running anymore it only lasts during the state when the computer is on if you need to avoid turning your computer off you can run the program again in reverse so you would open this up again go to display and change 14 and 84 back to their original state save the file close it tap on it again this time run it in the terminal and you're back to where you were in the original manner in a future video I am going to show how to use the compose key that's sort of like a swap the compose key allows you to get any almost any other symbol that is available on planet earth by means of tapping a compose key of your choice then in quick succession two other keys and those two keys together will make the key you want for example you may want the yen symbol and the yen symbol does not show but the yen symbol is sort of like a Y so I'm going to show in the next video how to make a yen out of a Y followed by say a dash or an equal how about the cent symbol that's sort of like a C followed by say a slash 
and that's going to be the next video I will show how to compose. In still yet another video I will show how to use a graphical user interface to do this without terminal whatsoever at all. In still yet another video I am going to show how to do expansion. Expansion is initiated by some key. I rarely ever use this key up here. And uh, in that video I'm going to show how you'll hit this key and then say for example H A home address and your home address will paste then into your word processor or text editor. But those are future videos. I hope that this mouse key business was of some use. My name is Pop. I have a whole bunch of YouTube videos and I thank you very, very much.